Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Corinthians against Recife. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Corinthians have elected to go 4-5-1. Well, it's a system that requires the right balance from the five in midfield and supporting the attack and, and obviously protecting the back four. to cut it out it's one he's delivered all right and that's got him off to a flyer oh, given such an open invitation he was always going to shoot oh, Peter that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending Ahead, one goal to the good. Tries a through ball. Joe, he's got away. Cut out in the nick of time. to break now the pass Joe looking to shoot that had everyone off their seats look I'm sure he'll deny it Peter but the keeper didn't have that covered Kicked by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Joe with the ball through. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Now can he finish? And he heaves it forward. Corinthians have it back and they can go again. Joe, he's had a go! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Scored inside the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Goes long. Ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. That's a throw. Stuck out a leg for a good challenge. Aimed long and direct. Brings it forward. Now it's Joe.
hits one! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Sees it out of harm's way. Over to the left. Again, the keeper stands strong. <laughs> Up to meet it! Harmlessly behind. To that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. the wing and the shot good running with the ball can they build on it tries a through ball driving on a real charge here he's had a shot forward it goes And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Joe. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, good interception. for half-time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, you can debate, Peter, whether they deserve a slightly bigger lead because they've created the majority of the chances, but they are in front for a reason, and they'll be confident of, of cementing that from now. Corinthians, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. That gets things going for the second half. Corinthians carry a one-goal lead into the second half. felt he had that covered some of the crowd were less convinced it was really well drilled oh he really wanted that yeah he's been at the center of a lot of things hasn't he uh, mostly good i should add
to slip it through. Now here's the through ball. Shapes the shoots. Saved only by poor finishing. Corinthians were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. He just stood firm. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He's one-on-one, -on -one. shoots! They've scored! And this is getting better and better. Corinthians are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Corinthians take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Tries lifting it over. Got offside that time. Yeah, a defence that likes to play a, a high line, and they're not disappointing. Joe being applauded off here, having made a sizeable contribution. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. Recife keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Goes for goal! It's a good run down the left-hand side. He's left his man. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Looks like a good ball through. Breaks on here. Can he score? It's a carbon copy of their previous miss. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Good defending there. They've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Now the counter. Kazim Kazim. Aimed long and direct. That could spell trouble. Of an hour to play. Pings it out wide. Sport Recife are enjoying lots of possession, but they just can't find any penetration. Looks to slip it through. And the finish! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And surely that settles.
Ponce. Oh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. without reply this is becoming a stroll forward it goes <laughs> now it's Kazim 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 oh, shoots oh that is an awful miss okay it's come to nothing but it's a warning of further threat on the break Directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Tries to stroke it through. Dangerous looking ball, and it's come to nothing. Recife. Look as though they're about to make a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Great challenge. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Tries a through ball. Going through. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. off the ball there now the pass he's gone for it that is a class save he had to be at his best well, here's a change that was in the offing last one allowed he's had a shot and that's off target Defending there. Kazim Kazim passes it through. Shot a goal! He scored! Yet another goal in an awesome performance! They are in complete charge! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. <laughs> Corinthians tear their opponents apart once again. There is the final whistle. Corinthians, comfortable winners. A virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Corinthians certainly ran a perfect race from start to finish. Out of the blocks quickly, they got themselves in front and they just didn't look back. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.